Hi everyone and welcome to this tutorial of drawing a blue morpho or a blue butterfly. That was my pre-study but I thought well why not draw this butterfly on a blue paper. So what I'm doing here is I have taken my light blue pastel pencil and these are the pastel pencils by Stabilo Carbotello. And I'm testing those out for myself. Now I'm doing this uh, setup uh, with that light blue pastel pencil because um, that way I can draw in all the veins that are on the wings and I well I've just googled some images of this blue morpho and now I'm just drawing it by heart, I'm just doing something. But what I'm specially interested in is all those little segments that are on those wings. And I'm trying to catch the light that reflects upon that. And as you will see in the drawing as I'm building this up, is that every segment can have a different color and in that way uh, the butterfly will come alive. Once you have the light blue standing, you can take a, a brownish gray and this is uh, more or less for the body and the side edges of the wings. I draw in between my light blue lines to uh, have those veins stand open and keep visible. Now this is my darkest grey pencil that I could find in my new box and I'm putting that in for the darkest areas in my butterfly. I also draw out the segments on the body and the tentacles that are on top of the head. Here in the bottom, the lower wings, I also put in the dark grey. And as you can see, I uh, keep drawing next to the blue starter lines that I've put in for the setup. This is a dark blue, it's slightly darker than the actual paper. And I am putting that in for the, the mid-tones in this butterfly. Again I am drawing next to the blue setup lines. Then I am shifting to a middle blue somewhat lighter than the blue uh, previous and I simply start putting that in for the parts that are getting a little bit of light. Then I take an even more lighter blue, it's the blue from the setup. Oh no, it's slightly, slightly darker. And what you can see starting here is now that the colors are blending in together. So I partially go over the darker blues. And in this way I get that feel of light that is going over that wings. As you can see, 
I still、uh, spare out the setup lines that we've done with the light blue, so the segments on the wings keep visible. This is the purple, and here is yellow ochre. Now the yellow ochre. I use for、uh, the side tips of the wings because they are kind of brownish. And here for the wings themselves, I've taken out the well. It's kind of a bluish green, and this is a very light green. What I'm trying to do is to get. The feel of light going over those wings. I love the way that uh, this uh, pastel is blending together, and it's an excellent. Uh, way of studying when you want to get to know your pastel pencils, because you can make any color of butterfly you want, just using your imagination. Here is a little bit of sunlight, so I use a little bit of、um, yellow, and for the final touch, I've grabbed out my black pastel pencil. Now I'm always very, very careful with the black because that can ruin your drawing. But when you apply it, and and I do not smear in it, I just、um, use it for the、uh, edges and the fine outline of the butterfly. And even though this is a very quick sketch and Kind of a rough sketch. I'm still happy with、uh, the way that the light is hitting those wings and all the little segments that I've spared out by、uh, saving those light blue lines. At the final stage, I also use the white, and I kind of use it as a blender stick. I put in the white dots on the wings, and here and there where I need、uh, the most of light that is on the wings and on the tip of those tentacles and on the body, I put in a little bit of white. Now you can leave your drawing like this, of course, but maybe you want、uh, a little bit more of a 3D effect, like、uh, your butterflies flying over your sheet. Then you can、uh, place in、uh, the shadow that is casted on your sheet by applying a little bit of dark blue, and then placing over a little bit of black, and then blend that together with a blue pastel pencil. And then for the sheet itself, you can use a light blue, and you place this around your shadow, but also blend it in together to get that soft feel of a shadow. Of course, this is optional, but I think it was quite a nice touch. I hope you will give this drawing a try. Please let me know if you do, and give it a big thumb, thumbs up. Now, don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you again in my next tutorial.